get the did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live. Unfortunately. Until Shank gets a hold of me. Uh, well, we better see if anything's missing. I already did. You're gonna love this. Scully's laptop is missing. That's for you, pal. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in D.C. Uh, I've completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. I'm afraid i got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Let's hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah. Keep you informed, okay? All right. Thanks. More good news. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday? He's just been shot to death. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? I didn't tell you about Wong. Well, well I guess Skinner must have mentioned it. So? What happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. Not to mention Skinner. Well, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear, then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. Yeah. Well, Agent Wilmore, barring any unexpected revelation, 
looks like somebody shot this man in the back of the head. We met? Yeah, we both worked on that kidnapping last year, remember? Sorry. No problem. It was a big team. So what was the time of death? Well, preliminarily, I'd say he's been dead for about six hours. So that would make the time of death early in the AM. The caliber weapon was big, 45 looks like, maybe a 357. Hit him in the mastoid bone. That's that big, spongy mass of bone behind the ear. It shatters more easily, so there's an inordinate amount of damage. A lot of bone fragments get driven up into the brain. That's where Oswald hit JFK. I take it you subscribe to the lone gunman theory. No, I think aliens killed JFK. Any sign of a struggle? Nope. Either he was totally surprised or he knew his mother. I gather there were no witnesses. I don't think so, but you better check with Detective Astadorian. The medical examiner doesn't get much chance to interrogate bystanders.
fish stocks have been declining in this area recently? No. Where'd you pick that up at? Wong told me yesterday. Ah, oh, well, there's a reliable source. So, what's your theory on the hold? My guess is that Wong was not quite what he seemed. I think this boat was being used for something other than fishing, which certainly puts a spin on his murder. Did you know Mr. Wong was taking stolen painkillers? What the hell are you talking about? I found a cache of pills in his cabin. No prescription labels, obviously stolen goods. Industrials take quantities, too. How interesting. Well, that certainly adds a sort of little wrinkle to things, doesn't it? So, you still think the motive for his murder was robbery? Let's just see what the other times he reveals. What's the Terracon? What? Terracon. What is it? I don't know. Why? I found this slicker in the cabin labeled the Terracon. I guess it's the name of the boat. No, no, no. This boat's called the Agrippa. Well, at least that adds another mystery to your list, doesn't it? I'm finished. I gotta take Wong here for his free ride. Astra to give me a call when she's finished. Okay. It was a pretty easy morning. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Oh, the harbor master's returned. Well, hello. I wish you told me there was two of you. I'd have brought another coffee. That's all right. Agent Wilmore here is trying to cut down. Well, still, I could have brought the decaf. Oh, do you know if Mr. Wong had any financial difficulties? No, I don't. I always paid his birth fees on time. Of course, things have been hard on everybody around here lately. I imagine he was feeling it, too. How long have you known Wong? Oh, a few years. Started talking here in 94, I think. Yeah, early 94. Did you notice anything unusual happening here last night? No, nothing at all. In fact, it was real quiet. Did Mr. Wong have any enemies? I don't think so. I would say no, but, hell, these days, I don't know anything anymore. Who owns this warehouse? It's leased to a company called Majestic Shipping, out of the Far East. Can you give me a phone number? Well, it depends on which number you want. They got offices in Hong Kong, Chechnya. So, which number? The main number. No, no, these guys don't quite work like that. But it's okay. I'll get you all the information I have. Just fax it to me. How long have the fish stocks been declining around here? Oh, a while now. Overfishing's the most likely cause, but it's gotten a lot worse in the past couple of months. Most of the small guys have gone out of business. Wong's the only one still holding on. Or he was. How do these boats normally store their catch? Well, usually they got what they call a live well in the hole that keeps water circulating over the fish. Some of the bigger outfits will have a refrigerated holding tank. Any idea why Wong's boat would have neither? No, no. I don't imagine he had the money to upgrade something like that. That'd have to be done in the dry dock anyway. That's pretty strange, really. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. They came and asked some questions the other day. What'd they ask you about? About who owned the warehouse. What's the Terracon? Terracon? Yeah, 
gun. I don't know some going gun. Burned at sea too much. Really? Why would Wong have a slipper from the terracon in his hand? Well, I don't know. I don't think he knew those guys. Uh, they were Russian. Maybe he picked it up a scrap after the fire. I think I remember hearing something about that. They were all died. Yeah, yeah. Boat's over at the impound now. You want to take a look? Well, why don't we go take a look at the terracon? Well, sure. Yeah. It's not far from here. Anyway, uh, the Coast Guard cutter, the Stalwart, saw a fire on the horizon, rushed out there. By the time they arrived, it was too late. The entire crew had burned to death. How many men were on board? A total of nine. Although only four bodies were recovered, the rest were presumed lost at sea. What was the cause of the fire? Never determined. They have no idea. Look at that. Fire damage seems to be contained to the outside of the hull. The cabin in the interior don't seem to be burnt at all. Okay, so what's your point? Well, how was the crew killed by a fire that only burned the hull? For that matter, why did the fire only burn the hull in the first place? <laughs> you got me. You're the detectives. Uh, look, do you mind if I go? I, I got a lot of forms to fill out. You know, uh, when there's a dead body, wow, paperwork. Sure, you can go. I'll call you if I need anything. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Well, it was nice to meet you, and I'll fax you those phone numbers. Well, looks like it's just you and me.
Let me know if you see anything. John, it's Craig. I need a set of prints lifted. Ooh, field work, my favorite. Where? Candid Impound Dock. The boat's called the Terracon. These are prints that were laid on top of a previously dusted set. I love a challenge. Flag the spot for me, I'll take care of it. Not having much luck over here so far. Come with me. I want to show you something. See these outlines here on the side of the cabin? Yeah, it's kind of frightening, isn't it? What causes it? I have no idea. It reminds me of pictures I've seen of Hiroshima. What's that? Well, the blast from the bomb left the outline of people behind. I don't know why. I can barely remember it. I was only a kid when I saw the picture. Jesus, scared the bejesus out of me. I bet the previous investigation was less than thorough. We should go over this thing with a fine-tooth comb. Look at this. What is it? I have no idea. Well, be careful with it. Relax. It looks like an explosive device. Well, it could be. It's certainly heavy enough. Maybe we should call in a hazmat team. <laughs> Let's not overreact, okay? What the hell are you doing? We really need to cut down to one cup a day. What is it? I don't know. But I do know one very happy lab technician. interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. They've got a full-time translator over there. I can get a translator. That's fine, I'm assuming you'll share. Of course I'll share. Okay. Well, that was easy. I thought certainly you would give me grief about that. No, if Seattle PD has the resources, let's take advantage of it. 
Well, that's a commendable attitude. Well, you know what they say about catching flies. Hey, Detective. Truett from the coroner's office just called. They've completed the autopsy on Mr. Wong. She's found something. Well, looks like we're headed to the corners. Hardly wait. This is Agent Wilmo with the FBI. He questioned Wong yesterday. I hope you found out everything you needed to know. What have you got? This is undoubtedly one of the most unusual autopsies I've ever performed. This man died from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. Large caliber weapon, point blank range. He was also a drug user. It looks like he was high at the time of death. That would account for the lack of struggle. But if the slug or the drugs didn't kill him, this man would have been dead within a matter of weeks anyway. Oh, Jesus. Why? He was completely riddled with massive tumors. I've never seen anything like it. What would cause something like that? I have no idea. But I've never seen a human being so eaten alive with cancer. God, I hate coming here. You know, so do I. Is that the slug? Yes, it is. I'd like to have it analyzed. That'd be all right, I suppose. How long have you been taking drugs? Well, it's hard to say. Organ tissue and blood samples may provide some evidence, but it still could be hard to determine. The evidence of massive tumors suggests that the subject was suffering severe pain, and the drugs could have been used to mitigate the pain. What kind of cancer was it? Well, here's the weird thing. You see, these, these are three separate kinds of cancer. It wouldn't surprise me if it turned out he had a few more. It's as if his entire endocrine and immune system suddenly went haywire. Is there a name for this? Bizarre. No, I mean, is there a syndrome or something that explains it? No, not that I've ever heard of. How do you know he was high? Well, it's mainly a hunch. Little things, uh, state of craniovascular relaxation, total dilation of the pupils, things like that. I've seen it before, but the blood work will confirm it. How long have you been taking drugs? Well, it's hard to say. Organ tissue and blood samples may provide some evidence, but it still could be hard to determine. The evidence of massive tumors suggests that the subject was suffering severe pain, and the drugs could have been used to mitigate the pain. What could have caused cancer like this? I have no idea. This isn't exactly my field, first of all, but I can't imagine what would trigger something like this. Some kind of massive carcinogenic exposure, I guess. 
Radioactive materials, certain classes of powerful mutagenic chemicals. Those are the only things that track with what I know. How long had he been ill? Tumors are highly unpredictable. A growth of this size would seemingly take a fair amount of time, but he would have been in immense pain. Which might explain the illicit drug use. Even with the drugs, a condition like this would be almost impossible to ignore. And the amount of drugs he'd have to take to ease the pain would make him a near zombie. Strange. Have you seen anything else like this recently? No, thank God. They're FBI agents. They were here a couple of days ago. There was a case a couple of months ago, a fire at sea, the... The Terracan, sure. I remember it. You're the second FBI agent to ask me about that this week. What are you talking about? Well, actually, to be specific, you're the third FBI agent. There were a pair here the other day, a man and a woman. They had the bodies of the Terracan crew members exhumed. She insisted on performing a second autopsy. What were their names? Sorry, I'll have to look that up. I see a lot of names. It was Mulder and Scully, wasn't it? Yes. Diana Scully and Wolf Mulder, that's right. What did she find? I have no idea. The bodies are still here if you want to see them. What were the results of the original autopsy? They died of severe burns. We want to see them. All right. You're not squeamish, I hope. Got a coming here. Fair warning, this is gonna be pretty bad. These guys had been interred for two months. You all right? Just peachy, thanks. Can we get this over with, please? Sure. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, I think someone's stolen the bodies from the Terracan. You two stay here. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll let you know if I find anything. stumbled onto here. Well, I have some theories. Okay, I'm listening. Well, um... Oh, my God. What is it? I think I know what's going on here. Oh, Jesus. I hope I'm wrong. What? They're smuggling something. They're smugglers. Wong worked for the same people as the crew of the Terracon. That would explain the slicker and the lack of fishing equipment. So, they worked for the same people. You questioned Wong. He was killed because they thought he talked. Your two missing agents have the crew from the Terracon exhumed and both they and the corpses turn up missing? We've stumbled upon a smuggling ring bringing either radioactive material or possibly chemical weapons into the U.S. from the former Soviet Union. That explains the fire on the Terracon, Wong's cancer, why he was killed, and what happened to your two missing agents. They got too close. Someone's covering their tracks and they're not afraid to shoot FBI agents to do it. You and I have to work together. We have to stop this. If I'm right, thousands of people might die. 
I'm gonna have to demand that we cooperate fully with one another. Okay. You just got yourself a new partner. Your tax dollars at work. Hey, do the words lunch hour mean anything to you? You're in a mood today. What do you want? Did you get those prints lifted? I just fetched them, Miss Daisy. I still need to process them. And they say sugar has no effect on children. You heard from Gloria? Nope, she's still at her mom's. Hey, when are you gonna pay me that dollar? Did you know that I grew up in Cleveland? No, oh, Cleveland? Really? Yes. And as a child, I've always regarded it as hell. Do you have any idea how cold it is in Cleveland? Cold. Very cold. It is very cold in Cleveland today. But not cold enough. You working on anything good? Yes, actually, uh, an art theft. Very cool stuff, mom's the word. Ah, so the comic book is research. Ah, another hunk of lead. I love bullets. Simple, tough, silent. Kind of like you there, Wilmore. Yet in the right hand, they speak volumes. You want I should match this against the last one? Astute as always. I shall make it so. Yowza. What is this? A bomb? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I do need you to tell me just what the hell it is. Your wish is my command.
You've got mail. always have a backup. What if something happened to you? Where would your investigation be then, huh? Agents' lives are on the line here. You better think about that instead of how you can score points with A.D. Skinner. You know why I haven't kept you informed? Because I've been busting my ass in the field. You gotta try it sometime. That was harsh. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell's the matter with me. I'm losing it. I've been being followed by two guys in a sedan. I don't know who the hell they are or who they work for, but they're obviously government. I think Mulder and Scully stumbled onto some kind of corruption that runs all the way into the Bureau itself. So who are these guys working for? The Bureau. They got the Joe Friday dress code down pat. So fill me in. I don't have a squad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just don't have any leads that make any sense. That's too bad. What does Skinner think? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. Well, just keep me informed, and I'll do what I can to help. I've just been a little busy. Sure, but I can help. If you're as stuck as it sounds, any little thing could blow it wide open. The more I know, the better I can do my job. So why were your fingerprints found on the Terracon? What? Terracon. It's an ocean-going tug. Burned it. <laughs> I know what it is. What are you saying? I'm just trying to figure out how come your fingerprints were found on a ship that's been involved in ten deaths, two disappearances, and you should probably never even have heard of. Listen, I was called in to investigate that fire two months ago when it happened. I didn't find anything. It took me a couple of hours, that's it. So why did I never hear of it? Jeez, I don't know, maybe you were in the can. Look, I never mentioned it because it was way below radar. I filed my report with Shanks, end of story. All right, I may have left a set of prints, but that's all I did wrong. Wait a minute. Maybe that's why I'm being followed. I assumed the crew were smugglers, right? I mean, that's what my report said. But they've seen my report. Someone in the bureau is involved. No, listen, this all makes perfect sense. There's a massive smuggling ring paying federal officials, maybe even FBI agents, to not only look the other way, but to provide outright assistance, including following agents who get just a little too close to the truth. Jesus, there's no way of knowing how high this goes. All right, look. We can't take any chances. You keep me in the loop. I don't want you to talk to anybody else but me until we can figure out what the hell is going on here. I better get out of here before my car is spotted. Okay. I gotta get to a stakeout. At the warehouse? Watch your ass.